This is Jerry Coviello, a member of the International Federation of Fly Fishers Fly Tying Group, to show how to tie the hopper. Materials needed to tie this fly. I'm using a Mustad 9672 size 6. Thread, yellow or gray monocord. Tail, red buck tail. Hackle, brown, palmer through the body and trimmed. Overwing, brown turkey tail. Body, yellow yarn. Collar, deer hair tips and the head spun deer hair. Wrap your tying thread about one third of the way away from the eye of the hook and then bring your thread to the bend of the hook. Stack a few fibers of red bucktail and the tail of the hopper is about as long as the gap of the hook. Tie this at the bend of the hook. Tie in a brown hackle at the bend of the hook. This is the rib of the fly. It will be tied Palmer style. At the bend of the hook, tie in the yellow yarn for the body. Make sure you put a loop that will extend past the bend of the hook. Wrap the yarn to form the body. This will go three quarters of the way up the shank of the hook. Sometimes uh, the yarn will uh, fray by some, uh, hitting the hook a point. Uh, when that happens, just tie it off and add another piece of yarn.
Now palmer rib, the brown hackle, make sure as you wrap it, uh, you give yourself nice even spaces as you go up to the end of the body. Remember, we want to keep the one third of the hook shank bare, so when we do spin the deer hair, there will not be any materials on that shank, so the deer hair will spin without any issues. Now it's time to trim the hackle. You want to trim the barbs uh, even with the hook point and make the uh, hackle uh, nice and even all the way around the fly except on top of the fly we want to trim it as close to the body as possible. Tie in the brown turkey tail to cover the body. One at a time we will trim the wing uh, so that it uh, comes to the uh, tail of the hopper. Now we'll add the legs of the hopper. What it is is I take uh, pheasant tail fibers and I tie a knot in them to make it look like a jointed uh, leg. This is an optional step, but it does look nice on a fly. Now take a small bunch of deer hair, line up the tips of the hair, these tips will form the collar of the fly. They will cover 180 degrees of the hook. The tips will be the length of the gap of the hook. Use your thumb and index finger to pack the hair. Take another small bunch of deer hair, but cut the tips off. Lay them on top of the hook near the eye. Wrap two or three loose wraps, then let go of the hair at the same time pulling the thread. This will spin the hair around the hook shank. If you find that your thumb and index finger uh, tire from packing the deer hair, uh, you can use a hair packer such as the one I'm using from Brassy or any other type of hair packer. Add another bunch of deer hair uh, to make sure we fill up the, uh, the head of the fly. Now whip finish the fly. We're not done yet because that now we'll have to trim the, the deer hair to make it look like the head of a hopper. This is where the fun begins, uh, trimming the uh, head. You want to take a scissor and cut flat on the bottom as shown. Uh, and what we'll do is we will cut around the collar, the deer hair tips, so that uh, we keep the collar. We have to be really careful not to trim the tips off. That's why those, the long hair makes it easier to guide the scissor to where the collar is. The, uh, I wish the barber would uh, put this much detail 
in a haircut like uh, we do with our flies when we trim deer hair. I usually take the fly out of the vise and do this, but since I'm videotaping it, uh, doing it in the vise is the easy way for me to show you how to trim the deer hair. Uh, now we're finished. I like to tie these flies at someone else's house so that the deer hair goes all over the place somewhere else and I don't have to do the cleaning. 